All right, we're at the Wharf Bait Shop here in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Jeff is just about ready to cut up this big coho salmon that was caught on high-tech fishing charters this morning. Pops the head off. You want to explain the rest, Jeff? I'm running the knife about 3 sixteenths of an inch above the actual center line of that fish because I want to get rid of a layer of fat that's right along the top of the body. Here I'm popping through the Y-bones. Now I'm just going to lift up on the meat and gently let the knife do its job. Just follow the bones right on out. We get done with this side. I'm going to make a small circle cut. That's to cut around basically the vent, right? Yep, you bet. And I made a pierce cut right there. And again, I'm about 3 16 from center. I'm aiming the knife right at the anal opening. Tip the knife downward and come out the back side. I'm going to pop that little Y bones again. And then lift up on the meat and just follow it right on out. And here's a small circle cut around <coughs> the back bend, and we're done. All that's left now is just the cleanup. Yep, and guys, a lot of times bring their salmon and throw it into the wharf. They charge just a dollar twenty-five to clean and bag these fish. They do still have the pin bones right along that edge. I usually cook them first, and then I pull the bones out after it's cooked, because you'll see those bones pop up to the top. Yep, that's the right way to do it. Yep. Then usually the first mate of the fishing charter pops that uh, fillet in a bag, ties it up, and all set for bringing on home.